Academy, where learning becomes much more easier. In our previous video, we were able to establish foundation on hydrocarbon, and today we will continue. If you are yet to watch the video on hydrocarbon, please refer back to that video, it's available, and do make sure you watch. If you have any questions to ask in the, in the subsequent class, you can please on the comment box below. Then, we will look, we'll look at the first important family, which is the alkene family. When we talk about the alkanes, this is a hydrocarbon and that is made up of carbon and hydrogen and it has no double bond and it is straight. We can have cycloalkanes also, but basically today we'll be talking about the straight chain alkanes. Hydrocarbons can exist in this form by connection of chain. Carbon is one of the elements in the periodic table that can catenate. What is catenation? Catenation is simply the ability to form chain with each other. Other elements does not have these characteristics of catenation. Carbon possesses this strong characteristics of catenation with each other. And as this catenation is taking place, it can also form bond with hydrogen, hydrogen, and hydrogen. Continuously. This kind of bonding can continue without stopping. So, subsequent reaction can happen, and this kind of bonding or catenation can continue. We can have up to 12 carbon atom, 10 carbon atom, 15 carbon atom continuously, and we can also have branching. So, in this kind of reaction or this kind of structure, we call this kind of structure that doesn't have a double bond and doesn't have a substituent, we call it alkene. Now, the alkane family, they are sp3 hybridized. That is to say, the 1s, 2s, 2p, and 3s. Now, we were talking about sp3 hybridized or 4sp3 hybridized. If you have a carbon atom, you have a hydrogen. The hydrogen has a configuration S2, S1, 1, S1. So this is the configuration for hydrogen, the normal hydrogen at its ground state. And carbon has the configuration S1, 2, 2, S, 2, and 2P, 2. So, Following the, number, the total number of valence electrons here, we can have up to four valence electrons because the s orbital entails the position of elements in the periodic table. So if you have on the p orbital, you have to make reference to the word, to the s orbital to know the position of that particular element. So on doing that, we can we have up to six electrons here. Two plus two plus two to give us six. But on the whole, if we have this and we have to have a mixing or overlap of the bond here. You know 1s1 of the hydrogen will come. There's another hydrogen with 1s1. And another hydrogen here with 1s1 also. And another hydrogen will still come with 1s1. Now, we have up to four hydrogen already. Four of the S of the S all round and they are hybridization between each of these orbitals, the S orbital and the P orbital of that of the carbon. So in all if this hybridization continues, we are going to have 4sp3. So in referring to this now we say the alkane are what sp3 hybridized. That's how we come about the hybridization of the sp3 in our case so moving forward how do we know the name for the first 10 members of the arcane family